Hello there, in this video I want to show you how to disable multiple post-processing effects in the Legacy of Thieves Collection Uncharted game on PC. Now this includes depth of field as you can see here, now this is after the changes and disables as well chromatic aberration, vignette effect and skips the intro videos. Also you can control each of these effects individually if you wish to keep some and turn off others now to do this first we need to go to this website right here the link of this will be in the video description for you to download we just go ahead and scroll a bit until we get to this latest release link right here then we download from this blue link and after we're done downloading i'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop now in case this archive does not wish to open for you, you can just go ahead and download this software right here and go through its simple installation process and it should open. But for Windows 11, you shouldn't really need that software. You can just double click on it and it should open like this here. Then we go inside its contents. Now what we need is just two folders and we won't be needing all these multiple files that exist on this archive here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this one. It's going to be the mod that we need, along with the loader. But first, we need to go to where the game is installed. Now, for you, it might be on Steam. If you have the game on Steam, it's going to be in the following directory. Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, then Common Folder. And you're going to find the Uncharted folder here. But for me, I have it installed elsewhere, so make sure to find where the game is installed for you. Uncharted here. Then we go ahead and drag and drop the file inside ASI loader. It should be in the top. This ASI folder will contain this DX input file. We just go ahead and drag it here and we rename it to the following when mm. Don't worry about the .dll. You may not see those extensions, so just name it when mm. After that, we just go ahead and drag and drop this file here and we go and launch the game once. Now, once you launch the game once, it's going to create a configuration file. We go to where the game is installed again and you're going to notice the file here. We just right click on it, go and edit. And here we can customize the changes that we want for the game. If it's true, that means that this disable option will be turned on. That means, for example, the temporal anti-aliasing TAA. If it's set to true, that means it will be disabled. If you set it to false, that means the anti-aliasing will be still used in the game. And that should be it. Now, after you've done all the changes that you want, just save the file and close it. And you can just play the game now normally. So hope this helps you out and peace out.